Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox HP ZBook Studio G8. It comes in a very standard generic uh, HP box like uh, all the basic laptops. Let's take a look at the specs. So it has a i7 11800H, which is a good CPU, very fast. It has 32 gig of RAM, which is very good. One terabyte SSD and uh, RTX 3060 with 6 gig of video RAM, uh, which is a good video card, not just for gaming, but also like in this case uh, for like video editing. Uh, that's, this is kind of laptop it is. It says it's designed for the creative professional, right? It's not a gaming laptop. It's uh, although you can use it as a gaming laptop easily. It has a good CPU, a lot of RAM, SSD, and a good video card. You can easily use it for gaming. But keep in mind, there is one downside to it. It's uh, it has it, it's only 60 hertz. 60 hertz refresh rate. Uh, it won't be very good for games with uh, a lot of movements, like a lot of action like uh, with the cars or like like something fast thing fast fighting things like stuff like that although keep in mind that ps4 and uh, xbox one uh, x like the previous ones the previous models they all were 60 hertz they didn't support more than 60 hertz and in some games they they would just they would only allow uh, a limit of 30 frames per second which makes it even worse, like in Witcher or Fallout 4, but let's get back to this computer, okay? So it has a 15.6 Full HD IPS display, pretty good. It has Thunderbolt, it has Windows 11 Pro, not home, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, so all this stuff is really good. And um, let's take a look at the laptop itself. This is what we have inside. So we have some... Uh manual quick start guide uh, warranty all these papers as usual we have the charger here two parts and this one 200 watt okay it's uh, on par with all the gaming laptops 200 watt is a lot and this is the laptop it has this letter over here HP seal here. It's gray. Here we have Kensington lock and USB A headphone input. Uh, it's uh, actually kind of thin. Uh, definitely the thinnest laptop with a video card uh, 3060, which is a really good video card. They somehow fit it inside. Two USB-C. I think at least one of them is, is Thunderbolt. And uh, this is for charge port. This is mini display port. SD card. Okay, it says so. Okay. This is just the cover. So if you don't want SD card, focus, focus. You just keep this in. For the looks okay this is this side and this is the laptop yes. this as always let's look at the screen uh the basil is good it's thin over here it's thin over there too we have front camera there let's see here hp wolf security I don't know what it is. Put down in the comments below. Fingerprint reader. Okay. Zbook. Oh, actually, the buttons feels nice. I was like, first I saw them, I scared. I was scared that is it like some cheap plastic again, like in like you know, like in three hundred dollar ones. But no, this one is really good. It's very nice on touch. It looks simple. It looks kind of cheap. Um, I feel the same way when I when I look at um, Lenovo ThinkPad sometimes. But I like it. I like it on touch. The material. Oh, it's definitely metal. 
Yeah, it's definitely not some cheap plastic. Yep. HP here. Very nice. One important thing about it is that it is about a $3,000 laptop. $3,000 laptop is crazy, right? Laptop with the uh, specs uh, like this, gaming laptop would probably be, if you find it on sale, it can be maybe uh, $1,200, I would say, or something like that. Something with 16 gig RAM and um, 512 SSD, you can often find for like a thousand or so. And it will have a higher refresh rate, like 120, 144, like 240, 300 even sometimes. Um, but it's also a very thin laptop. It's actually thinner than most of basic laptops, which is good. And I'm not sure how they fit this RTX 3060. They had to fit it somehow in there, but they did. Um, the design is very good and I'm sure the display quality is great. It's just uh, not really for gaming, but if you want to play some maybe turn-based strategies, or some like RPGs, like uh, turn-based RPGs, stuff like that, or like other stuff, it's gonna be great. And it's gonna be great for gaming overall, just 60 hertz, like just one downside, but you know, it'll be fine. Um, it's a lot of money, like 3000 or something like that. It's crazy money for a laptop with these specs. Although if you have the money and you want a nice thin laptop, it's fine, right? If you can afford it. But if you want to save some money and uh, have a laptop that's also very capable, like to edit any like Photoshop or anything like that, um, I would just go with a gaming laptop. I would buy maybe, actually HP makes uh, Victus, which is uh, also doesn't look like, uh, you know, super bulky gaming and stuff. So you can get like some Victus with uh, specs like this on sale. Uh, you can probably find maybe for like 1200, maybe, which is like one third of this one. It'll be a bit thicker, but uh, maybe quality of the screen gonna be worse, but uh, it's still gonna be good and gonna process everything just as fast. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.